Kelly and Mark discussed some of the gifts they received for Christmas during Thursday's episode of Live. Mark, 52, reminded Kelly he got her bridge lessons, which she was excited to recall. I've been dying to take up bridge, Kelly said. Here's my plan. We learn bridge, the next phase to learning bridge is you move to Palm Springs. That is the way it goes. That is the natural progression of your life, she insisted. So I am halfway there because I have my bridge lessons and you're going to take them with me, Kelly told Mark. She insisted that the pair would not be competitive as they learn and they would spend equal time absorbing information about bridge. You will be obligated to move us to Palm Springs, where 90% of bridge players live, Kelly told Mark. I love what's happening to you, Mark joked, saying he was seeing the future. I love it, he said, agreeing to make the move in a joking manner. Kelly asked Mark if he needed to tell her something after making a comment about their personal life. The comment threw Kelly off and she demanded him to expand further. On Monday, Kelly, 53, and Mark, 52, began live by talking about their winter break. Kelly asked if everyone had a nice break as she looked around at the crew. We had an interesting one, Mark said with a smile on his face. Oh my gosh, Kelly replied. We were with all our kids, three of them that we know about, Mark joked. Kelly looked at Mark with a nervous smile and he shrugged. I don't, I don't know what that means, he said, as the audience laughed. Anything you want to announce here today? Kelly asked her husband. Mark moved his hands in front of him and said, no, no. Kelly and Mark have three children together. Michael, 26. Lola, 22. And Joachim, 20. Big Stee. Mark went on to say that all three of their children brought their significant others with them. That was really weird for us, he said, leaning back in his chair and looking at Kelly. You thought it was weird, she asked. Mark clarified that he thought it was great, but was weird because he never thought it would happen. Kelly said that their children, a lot like her, have good taste when it comes to picking their partners. Everybody stayed in separate rooms, Mark told the audience. Kelly didn't know how it was going to go, but said it wound up being great. And they got along with each other. They went off and did young people stuff, she said and they want to hang out with us, Mark ended, adding on. Before the break, Kelly and Mark discussed wanting grandchildren. In a December interview with the lifestyle magazine Mr. Feelgood, Mark revealed the news. While opening up about his and Kelly's successful 27-year marriage, Mark advised readers to find someone that you enjoy walking on the beach with, talking about the future, about what you want. We did that when we were 24 years old, and we still do it now. Like, wouldn't it be great if we could do this? I never want to stop doing that, dreaming about what we could do, he revealed. Now there's talk about grandchildren, and we're designing things around that, he confessed. We want to be the magnets, we want to be the favorite grandparents, so we're building the magnets so they have to come to us. It's those kinds of conversations that really tie us together, he went on. Even though I know I'm highly annoying and she is extremely patient.